Named after struggle icon Robert Mangaliso Sobukwe, the founder of the Pan-Africanist Congress. Sobukwe's family attended the renaming ceremony that was part of the heritage commemorations today. Sobukwe was born on the 5th of December 1924 in Hrafrinet in the Eastern Cape. He led a nationwide PAC protest against pass laws enforced by the apartheid regime and was arrested and incarcerated on Robben Island. Sobukwe was banished to Kimberley and was put under house arrest. It was on the 27th of February 1978 where he took his last breath at this hospital due to lung complications. His family says this move by the government will ensure that Sobukwe's legacy lives on. As a family we're very happy. Um, we do feel it's an honor that he really truly does deserve seeing that he spent um, a part of his life in Kimberley and also this hospital being the place where he passed on. So we appreciate the significance of it. We appreciate the significance of being, it being done on this day. Earlier this year, Sobukwe's vandalized law offices in Khalishiwe were renovated. Someone that we did not know but we heard of because of his history and his role that he played. And that is why, without taking away from anyone anything that we said, let us give a broader picture and let us acknowledge all the, 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 the heroes of the liberation struggle and that is how we are where we are today renaming Kimberley Hospital in the honor of Robert Sobukwe. It's now hoped that the quality of health care at the renamed hospital will also improve in honor of the political icon whose name it now bears. Reginald Vidboy, SBC News, Kimberley, Northern Cape.